Hello, this is Big G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Let's continue through the Tunnel of Wu to the east side of Wu. How we're fitting 20,000 soldiers into this tiny cave, I don't know. How does that even work? I mean, it's long. It's longer than the long walk in Chapter 6. But, I mean, it's got to be cramped quarters. I can't imagine having a battlefield in a cave like this. Kind of reminds me of Minecraft. With all these dead ends. No diamonds or treasures or anything at the end of it. You, you never know what you're going to find around here. I mean, we do have one more treasure to get here. And hopefully it's the shiny. But first, I gotta get back to the stairs. Yeah, on the left there. I, I think I go up from here. Yeah, yeah, okay, good, good. Fortunately, this part is pretty straightforward. The right half, not so much. It can be a little tricky to find your way around. It's a little mazy. Not as mazy as Fantasy Star 2. No, no, we're not talking crazy. Yeah. No, even the worst of it is not nearly as complicated. But, well, so far, no generals that can use Jimmy on. That's nice. I was going to say, oh man, if it was a general that I actually had it. But, uh, nope, nope, not this time. We've already got two of them on our side. And there's a lot that you can find here. Of generals that we haven't even encountered yet. I mean, in the story, that is... Wow, the encounter rate is kicking my ass. I don't need the encounter rate to get this high. I'm already slightly overleveled as it is. Not that it's really making me overpowered. It's not like I'm getting stronger or dealing more damage or anything. Just, at this point, it's more soldiers, and that's it. The MTP that I have now will be the maximum for the remainder of the game. You can't gain any more MTP at this point. Just more soldiers, so gaining levels doesn't really help that much. Uh, at least until you get over 10,000 soldiers, which we will eventually. The uh, soldier count for each general, at least for the tiger generals, increases exponentially as you go throughout the game. So that's why we were stuck under a thousand for so long. Let's see, the upper path leads to a dead end, so don't bother with that. Or maybe it's a path that loops in on itself. I think that's it. Whatever it is. But yeah, we'll get over 10,000 soldiers. Soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Okay, I need to get to those stairs on the right. But I'm just gonna pass up all the dead ends along the way. Oh yeah, with uh, this general, someone is saying, H.G. Bailey, uh, his name is supposed to have an I in it, like Jiang Chin, but they misspelled it here, or mistranslated, however it works. So, yeah, there's a couple generals that already that, like, I try to put their name in my Chinese pronunciation guide, but it'll say that's not a Chinese name because it's missing a letter that I don't know what it is. And a lot of times I heard there's like accents in the name or subtle nuances that in the pronunciation that you just don't really see. But, uh, well, here's a general with Jimion that I would like to show you. Lusun. This guy is, yeah, he's got really good stats, very high strength, and even more intelligence. And he's got really good agility. He will be a very long asset to me. But for now, we can't recruit him, and he's got a lot of the nasty tactics for us to deal with. So, let's see. 
let's just have everyone go after him for now. I don't want to waste my TP on him. I mean, I might use it for Jin Zeon, but we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, well, at least he doesn't have uh, Ensha. For some reason, he has Beiji and Jimmy on, which, at least for our side, should be impossible. Uh, let's see, I don't want to deal more than 2,000 damage to him here. Because that'll bring him below half of his maximum soldiers. So, let's see. How about we take out a couple of those rebel forces while we're doing this? Okay, so, yeah, we'll go like this. And that should keep him above 50%. Once you get him below 50% soldiers, then he'll be able to use one boo. So we want to, yeah, delay that as much as we can. But yeah, like, Jameon, you would have to have, or well, for BG, you would have to have uh, more than 240 intelligence, or at least 240. But, uh, Jameon, you would have to have, uh, less than that. So, yeah, the enemies don't abide by the same rules of how tactics are determined. See, I'm thinking about using, uh, Jin Xian, but we've got him below 50% now, and I need to kill him as quickly as possible, so I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't attack Zhao Yun again. Okay, I got really, really lucky on that one. Hmm. Now I'm thinking if I want to use uh, Jin Xian here, if I have the opportunity. Um, no. Kill him now while we can. The lower his soldier count gets, the, in the more likely he'll be using some sort of healing. That applies to any general. So, yeah, unfortunately now I'm going to have to burn a couple elixirs here. Wait, who needed that? Ah, okay, yeah, you too. Well, we might as well use the elixir that we found there. And then, yeah, I gave all the rest of them to you. Uh, I forget which one I healed first. Ah, okay, yeah, Zhao Yun. Okay, yeah, let's... Well, I mean, he was the one that I need to use it on still. Okay, get that going. We're right back in action. Yeah, nice thing about uh, Jin Zeon being so cheap, it makes it a lot easier to get through these caves without burning a ton of TP or power pills. So I use a combination of both, depending on the situation. Normally, I would have wanted to use Jin Zeon there, but... I really wanted to kill that guy before it was too late. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't need to do anything with him. Uh, let's see. The path to the right leads to the end of the tunnel. Let's go over here first. Okay, so for this part, get all the way through here and find the final treasure in the tunnel. Huh? Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, what's in here? A monster! Oh, or a sword. Oh, Wh what do you mean Zhang Bao got a sword? It's not in my party. Well, for some reason, the they hard-coded the name Zhang Bao into the text box here rather than choosing, okay, who's the general that's at the lead of the party? Okay, let's insert his name there, like everything else in the game does. This one is, I think it's one, or it, there might be another instance where they do something like that, where they put a character's name that they probably expected you to have, but I don't. But in any case, for getting that, we found the new long sword, one of the most powerful weapons in the game, and one of the five swords that the blacksmith forged for us. Well, that's pretty nice. So let's see. I need to move some stuff around here. So how about we give the battle axe to Zhuge Liang. I'm probably going to want him to equip that at some point. And then I want to hand down the scimitar 
to Gunning. I'm gonna want to hand down the crossbow to Zhou Yun. And then get Nu Long over to Machao there. So let's see, uh, this one, uh, let's see, as far as damage goes, it's almost double. Eh, not quite double, but I mean, it's a lot more powerful than any other weapon we've got. So now we're finally actually getting creative names for the weapons. And then, okay, yeah, back on, and I think we're good, good to go. Let's get out of here. Oh, we got Jugen Jin here. I would like to recruit him if I can, or he could just use Jimmy on right away. Why not? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I was thinking about maybe using Huo Shen here, even though that probably wouldn't kill or hit Jugen Jin, but we got a little lucky. Hooray! Uh-oh, he's getting below 50% of his uh, maximum soldiers there. Well, hopefully. I forget what healing he actually has. Punch magic! That's what he's got. No, no. I mean, we have punch healing, so why not magic? But, uh, oh, okay, he doesn't have, uh, uh, whatever that was. Uh, one food there, so don't worry about it. But, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, the rest... Should be relatively simple. Hopefully, I could recruit him because, yeah, I would rather not encounter him and Jimian again. All right, got him. If I don't recruit him, it's not the end of the world. But let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty cheap to me. More party members, just so I don't have to encounter him again. All right, now let's get out of here. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, good, good. I was like, wait a minute, did I, was that the way I came? <laughs> well, fortunately, they got all the different floors color-coded here, so that helps a little bit. Oh, and for defeating these guys, we gained another level, which only will give us more soldiers. And that's it. I do not want his soldiers, though. Aw, oh, man. We're almost there. Gotten everything I want around here. Yeah, there is one thing I, I really like about the game with uh, the ultimate weapons. Not only do they have unique names, but they're immensely more powerful than anything we can buy. Ah, oh, come on! Game! Almost there. But, uh, oh right! Finally made it to the east side of Wu. Who will we find over here? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!